And today I'm going to do a white one. And I'm going to do a tree ring kind of pour. I've got silicone in my paint, so there's going to be cells, plenty of cells. So it might be a tree ring design, but it's not going to end up looking like a tree ring because there's silicone in it. I just want to see what happens. I just want to pour paint. I was going to swipe something on here. It's one of my smaller canvases that I have. I have some larger canvases, or I have really smaller ones. So I thought, well, I'm going to do the tree ring thing. And I was going to use copper, which was in the wave painting, but I'm not because it comes out very orange looking. So I'm taking this part out of the equation. So all the colors I had mixed before, this is like a turquoise I mixed, like a deep peacock color, a navy color I mixed. This was a bronze I mixed with several brands of bronze. This was straight out unbleached titanium, two different brands to combine com together. Of course, I have my white. This is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This was Brilliant Blue, straight out of the tube, Artist Loft brand. And I decided to add to the, to the bronze, I want some Champagne Gold, Deco Art, and Venetian Gold, which is more of a, a orangey, old-timey, kind of gold, which I love the Venetian gold and the Emperor's gold. They are my favorites of, De of Deco Arts metallics. So I've added those to this and just wanted to show you real quickly because I mixed these colors in a previous video, the Epic Wave video, but I used Oatrol Easy Flow, which is a European company. So that you can see how their product works and I use strictly a one-to-one -one ratio and with deco art paints in a bottle you generally do not have to add water to them tube paints are a different story they're much thicker you do have to add water to them so very quickly I'm just going to stir these up while you're watching me this is going to be a quick video This is pretty much straight on ready to, to pour when you pour deco art that comes out of the bottles you don't really need to add water to it so that's champagne gold this one is the venetian gold these paints have sat in cups for days and i have coconut milk in them and I am not going to stir them because I, I still want large cells, so I'm not stirring them because I know that the silicone is still intermingled in there and I'm not going to stir it up and make smaller cells. Now these are like three ounce cups and I'm using the OGX Coconut Milk Hair Serum. If you do a full pump, I just do a half of a pump. A full pump is quite a bit of stuff and really with coconut milk or silicone less is better less is more you get plumper bigger cells with less than you do by overloading it with silicone or coconut milk so don't overload it forgot to bring over this one is a, a pale aqua that i mixed in with a bunch of pearl powder uh, is powder pigment and it gives it kind of a pearlescent look so I'm going to use that one and then I've got my white in my squeeze bottle like I said a dirty pour tree ring basically the bronze is still the, the, the thing about metallics is they are heavier and they will sink I'm going to throw just a hint of water in that one give it a few stirs and that's it and for this is a 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas I need a minimum of so I have a, I have a chart on my and my downloads I have a chart that I keep on my phone for a 24 inch canvas it shows for 20 ounces of paint to cover the whole surface
here it is from the front angle and I know there's a lot of reflection from the lights and the window I have a double window in front of this table turn the lights off and see if that helps that also I get, can get around the edges here to see areas that are light There's going to be some beautiful runoff on the table from these colors as well. Let me turn the other light off. So, like if you're a blue turquoise lover, this painting is to die for. Color wise, I just love it. I love the pattern and everything. It's just really, really awesome. It. and this has coconut milk in it. It's mine that end up looking like cosmic galaxies but this does look like an explosion of color and I'm just loving it so much. So my corners aren't all, all that pretty. This one I think turned out pretty here because I did the dark and I just kind of blew it out over it and that's probably what I should have done in each corner but like this corner down here just had a really pale champagne gold corner and it needed some life but these cells are just beautiful there's a little alligator face with sunglasses on look you can find all kinds of neat shapes This is one of my favorite areas right here. And I don't think the camera ever does justice to true colors of your results or if you have metallics and that kind of thing in your paints. It just does not do it justice. Thank you so much for watching. In the bottom right corner beside subscribe is a bell. And if you click on that bell, you will get notifications when I post new videos if you're interested. And I hope you really enjoyed this. I sure did. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you following me and watching.